so we're doing something a little different today hey guys what's up it's uh it's kai welcome back touched by kai i'm kai and today we're we're uh we're in krita which uh we have not been in before uh it's a free painting application i'm gonna be doing a couple of videos uh on it in the future and what we're doing today is some landscape painting which i've literally never done before i've never ever done any landscaping uh landscape uh art before at all um, so I'm testing on a couple different brushes here, and I land on this one uh, finally, which I will be sharing most likely in the next uh, in, a, in the next tutorial. But this was kind of like my process for what I was doing uh, during this this landscape painting here. I was just blocking out. You saw I used the uh, the lasso tool there to block out some shapes, um, and I really love when you're able to see um, paint brush strokes. So I, I wanted to make sure you could see all of my individual strokes because I think it looks really cool especially for uh, landscape painting and landscape art and stuff like that so I'm just I'm I'm trying to add a couple of different layers by uh, by decreasing the 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 lightness and the lightness and darkness of the colors that we have here and I'm also shifting the hue very slightly to the blue uh, sides and I don't like that so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that um, but I'm just I'm just adding in a couple of these like stone granite pillars and I add in this guy here Maybe he's been on an adventure um, And he's all bundled up in a big jacket and a scarf um, Which I thought looked pretty cool um, The only thing I was thinking about was like I said was just those brush strokes I was just trying to keep the brush strokes and like I said, this is the first time I've ever done any landscape art before um, so I wanted to add in some vines just to uh fill out the scenery a little bit and I dropped the opacity of these vines down here to make them look like they were in the back on that pillar back there um, and at this point I'm just trying to add in some some variation with color because it's all pretty gray um, so I added in some some green and I put that on overlay and added some blue and put that on overlay um, and I do a lot of stuff with that I think I'm gonna add the lantern yeah I'm adding the lantern right now there's a lantern on the side that did glow a little bit uh, with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of yellow shine there and I had a little bit of sunlight on uh, the top halves of all the different stuff I wanted to get a little bit of like a rust dirt looking kind of thing to the stone so I added a little bit of gray and I figured I should tamper with the background to make it not just solid white so I added a little bit of blue to that and then I um, overlaid some lighter blue to kind of get a little bit of a gradient going on um, to make it a bit brighter at the top and um, change the color of a couple of those pillars and this is this I think this is probably one of the coolest things here I added a bit of a gradient as you can see with it, like a little bit of a sea foam to a blue and then overlaid that over top of the whole image and it just really set off the whole ambience and the whole tone and everything else like I said I'm just going through and adding a couple of more overlay layers on top of all of that stuff and um, just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of glow at this point just a little bit of light and I'm about to do the God rays in a second yep there's the God rays right there coming down um, so like I said I was just really keeping in mind the strokes I just really wanted you to be able to see everything from far away and to say well that looks like a landscape painting but then when you zoom in it looks you know like individual brush strokes and I just love that and I think that's what a landscape painting um, really really needs um, so yeah, I think that's that's about it. Yep, that's it right there, and this is the uh, final piece. Like I said, this took me exactly 33 minutes to complete, and I really, really like how it came out, so I decided to share the process with you guys. I will be doing a couple of tutorials of Krita and different uh, styles and landscape paintings and regular paintings and stuff like that in the future, but I do hope you liked, liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, I hope you learned about how my process goes, and I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, then. Bye-bye.